What is up everybody? How are you doing? I hope you guys are good. Sorry it's a little bit echoey, but I'm just at Heathrow Airport. This marks the start of such an incredibly exciting trip for me. This is my biggest solo trip I've ever done. I am flying to Romania, but I have a 12 hour layover in Rome. Very, very nervous, but also so, so excited. It should be really, really good. All right, so now two and a half hours to Rome. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, your captain speaking. My name is Diego Poltroni, on behalf of my crew and Italia, I wish to be a welcome port uh, this airport. Three twenty service from Hydro to Rome, few and some information concerning it. Time to Rome today, two hours and five minutes. Routing towards uh, Brighton and uh, Paris, Ginevra, EOS, uh, Genova. Expected to be a pretty nice evening in this moment, 25 degrees on the ground with the sunshine. I wish you very well and stop with us. Thank you for choosing an Italian. hours later I am back at the airport that was an incredible few hours in Rome it was phenomenal I'll pop pictures up on the screen somewhere I'm now flying from Rome to Bucharest I barely slept last night it was about three hours or something yeah I arrived at my accommodation at about midnight didn't fall asleep until one because I was trying to learn Spanish with one of my roommates don't ask <laughs> and then I headed out for sunrise I set my alarm for 4am so yeah let's go catch our flight to Bucharest would like to welcome you on board our airplane 737, 400 series flight number given 1216 to be correct at the The flight time to be correct will be approximately 1 hour and 45 minutes. Later, I've made it to Bucharest. I'm just gonna jump on the bus, head to the terminal, and then I will head into town. Good morning, everybody, from a very, very hot Bucharest. I landed late last night at about 10 p.m. Let me just get in the shade a minute. But yeah, the, my driver dropped me off at the start of the old town. I'm staying in a hostel called Little Bucharest Old Town Hostel I think. It's right in the centre of the old town which is perfect. It's really really hustling and busy but you're not allowed to drive down there so he dropped me off at the start of the old town and I had this backpack on and my huge 70 centilitre backpack which I can barely carry because it's got so much stuff in it and Bucharest is so well known for its nightlife and I was walking up the old town and every single place I passed was a bar or a club or a restaurant so <laughs> it was just me with my two big backpacks walking up basically like a nightclub strip and it was hilarious I definitely could have dropped my bag off at any of the pubs and joined in but I was just so so exhausted but now is the morning in a beautiful Bucharest it's about 30 degrees which is really really nice but yeah I'm taking today very very chilled because I'm still very, very tired from traveling yesterday. I didn't sleep too much, as you saw from Italy. I'm in a place called Unary Park right now, and it's beautiful. There's this huge, giant fountain in the middle of the park, and it's beautiful. There's still traffic coming in and out, but it's still really, really nice. Surrounded by beautiful buildings. But yeah, coming from the airport last night, I got in a taxi, and the guy driving was so, so nice. He 
recommended me a lot of different things to try out and I asked him about the Romanian food I should eat and he told me to eat everything. But yeah, I woke up pretty late today, it was like 10 a.m. Uh, went and grabbed some coffee with an extra shot in it because I think that's one rule that I've made is that I can't talk to the camera without having coffee because I'm just dysfunctional. So <laughs> until I've had about three espressos, I would not be talking to the camera. Um, so yeah, no real objective for today. I'm gonna kind of just wander around the city, get a feel for it see what it's like, um, wander around the old town, probably get some good food and yeah, see what food press is like, first impressions. Okay, so I've just kind of been wandering around the city for quite a long time, a few hours, and it's so, so chill and so relaxed. I feel like the whole city just comes alive when it turns dark. Um, one night this week, I probably will find that out for myself, but I've just made it to the Parliament building, which is just behind me. Um, this is the second largest building in the whole entire world, using as much electric as a mini city which is crazy. But one thing I'm noticing about the city is it, it's just so relaxed. Everyone's kind of just enjoying their day, either at work, even like the traffic in the main parts of the city is just not that in intense or insane, uh, which is quite refreshing actually. It just makes it a lot easier to kind of wander around the streets and get a feel for it. This building is just insane. <laughs> guys so i've just spent the afternoon kind of just wandering around the streets i think what makes this city so charming is that the old town was almost destroyed with earthquakes world war ii bombings and communism so it's so so cool to see the character around the streets there's a ton of street art yeah graffiti everywhere so it's really really cool so i'm just wandering through a place called passage in victoria it's more commonly known as uh the umbrella street and back when the restaurant just up here first opened they put a few umbrellas out and with all the umbrellas they actually attracted so many different people and such a huge amount of people that they actually extended the, all of the umbrellas straight to the all the way all the way back um, and it's such a cool photo location so if you're in Bucharest you definitely need to come here <laughs> Everybody. so it is the next day and last night I ended up meeting with about 20 different people on couch surfing all from all different walks of life all from different countries and it was my first time using couch surfing if any of you aren't familiar with it it's an app where you can stay with the locals or you can hang out with locals or kind of different people from around the world and it's such a cool way to meet people from around the world and get to know loads of different cultures and experiences and things like that and it was so so good and we ended up going out partying uh, we went to a club called control club but first impression so far of the city is it's so relaxed i think the 
whole city comes alive in the nighttime. In the daytime, it's pretty chill, pretty quiet, uh, which is quite nice. Another thing is everyone smokes, like nearly every person I've seen smokes as well. Most of the buildings are a mix between old, really old, mainly because of communism and the Second World War bombings, but quite a lot have been left either in the same state that they were in after the bombings or they have been renovated and the history in the city is really really cool but yeah anyway that is where i'm gonna leave the video i'm sorry it's been a little bit all over the place i didn't really expect to go out last night but the the people here are they are just so so nice so yeah anyway thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next video hopefully it will be more of a a Romanian food video. Um, I'm so so excited to get stuck in to eating all the good flavors from around this country. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.